Hi everyone, welcome back to Paracord Planet. For you, St. Patrick's Day may have come and gone already, but for us here in the studio, we're still about two days away. So we're going to wrap up our St. Patrick's Day themed videos with an awesome bracelet, and we couldn't end it without doing the Leprechaun bracelet. For our Leprechaun Weave bracelet today, we do have 10 feet of 550 Kelly Green paracord, and we do have that set up on our jig already ready to go. And that is attached to our three-fourths of an inch gold buckle. If you need a reminder on how to set up the two-strand inner core, we're going to link a previous video in the description below. We also have 10 feet of 550 paracord in white. And of course, to end everything, we have our scissors and our lighter. So to start off our weave, we have taken the middle of our white cord and we have lanced it through the two cow hitch knots that we have at the top of our bracelet. So for the first step, we're going to take the left working strand of our white paracord. We're going to make a loop going over top of our two inner strands, and we're going to hold it right there. Our next step, we're going to take the right working strand of our green. We're going to go over top of that loop. We're going to take the same strand. We're going to go under the right inner core strand. We're going to bring it all the way through, and when we get the end of our right working strand, we're going to go in between the green and the white loop. Now, the only time you'll really have to worry about making sure that this loop is on the right side is for the very first pass. So we're going to hold that with our left hand. We're going to hold the white paracord with our left hand, and we're going to cinch this knot that we just made. With that same working strand, once we do tighten up the knot as tight that we, as we would like it, we're going to take the end of our working strand, we're going to go behind and through the white loop. Our next step is we're going to tighten down the white knot and we're going to tighten down the green knot as well. So we're basically just pulling on both of the strings as we make this knot tighter. And at that point, we have completed one pass of our Leprechaun Weave. We're going to show you how to do it again. This time, we're going to do it on the left side. So first step, we're going to take our white paracord. From the left to right side, we're going to make that loop on the left side. This time we're going to take the left working strand, we're going to go over top of the white paracord. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring it under the left inner strand. And once we get to the end of our working strand, we want to put it between the white and the green paracord. And once again, we do want to tighten up that knot that we had just made, and we do want to keep a loop on the left side with our white paracord. Our next step, we want to take our green left working strand we want to go behind our white loop, and we want to put the strand through that loop. And from here, we're going to tighten both of our cords. We're going to go the white first, then we'll go the green. We'll go white, we'll go green. And we are just going to continue that pattern all the way down the weave, and we'll come back to the video once we do get to the end, and we'll show you how we're gonna wrap this bracelet up. So 
now that we have finished our leprechaun weave all the way down to the bottom, the only thing that is left is to take our bracelet off of the jig. We're going to cut off the excess paracord and we're going to burn it down. So there we have our completed Leprechaun Weave bracelet, and I really, really like this bracelet uh, for one of the reasons it's a little on the thinner side, so it's actually very flexible, it's not as stiff as most of those thick bracelets, and as you're weaving this, you can actually make it a little bit smaller than you would normally make a bracelet, uh, just simply because of how thin it is. I think it feels great, I think it looks great, this is just one of those awesome bracelets that you can wear with pretty much anything. Thank you so much for checking out this video and all the videos in our St. Patrick's Day series. If this video did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated, and a big thank you to everybody who has already given us a like and subscribe. It helps us out immensely. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of the day. We'll see you on the next video.